Welcome to another video from Between CAD Classes. We're taking a look at some of the new features available to us in the newly released AutoCAD 2023. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can rename a block when we bring it in if there's a conflict with an existing block in the drawing. We'll also take a quick review of the rename command in case you haven't seen that before. To begin with, we're going to insert a block. You can see that I have my block palette open here, and I am going to bring in this sink. Not a very well named block, it could be a lot more descriptive, but I'll go ahead and bring the sink in and place it where I want it to go. Next I want to bring in another sink specifically for the bathroom. I don't currently have that loaded, so I'm going to browse for another drawing file. Here I have another sink, and as you can see it is also named sink. So once more, I've got some naming convention issues going on here, but I'm going to go ahead and bring this one in. In older versions of AutoCAD, you would have two choices. Your first choice would be to redefine the block. If I chose that option, then the new sync will come in and it will also redefine the existing sync, and now it matches. So that's definitely not what I was going for there. I'll go ahead and bring that in once again. The second option that I have is don't redefine sync. If I do that, then I'm basically still using the original version. So brand new in AutoCAD 2023, we have a third option. The third option allows us to go ahead and bring that new block in and AutoCAD will rename it for us. It'll just put a number one behind it. So I'm going to choose that option. And now you can see that I can make both of these sinks happily coexist in the same drawing file. Now, if you take a look at my file names, once again, the original one is called sync and this one is called sync one. So it's probably a better idea if I rename those to something a little bit better. I can't do that directly from the blocks palette. I can, however, use the rename command. If you haven't used this before, you just type in rename and hit enter. That'll bring up our rename dialog box. I'll select blocks and I'll start with the original sink and I'm gonna change its name to maybe kitchen sink. And then select rename two. Then I can choose my sink one and perhaps I'll rename this one to bathroom sink. Now I have both blocks coexisting in the same drawing and they have some better names attached to them so that the next person can use them a little more easily. If you found that helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Watch out for some additional videos on some of the neat new features in AutoCAD 2023. As always, thanks for watching.